Salut zusammen, grüß miteinander und willkommen zurück zu einem neuen Vlog. Ja, yeah, ein neuer Vlog. Du hast es richtig gehört. Ich habe einen neuen Vlog. Und ja. Wenn du wissen willst, was zu diesem riesigen Mess passiert, dann around right nach dem Intro. Let's go! Hello there! Welcome back guys to the vlog and today I got two packages in the mail and uh, yeah let's see what's inside. So now I got these two packages, a smaller one and a bigger one. And in the smaller one there is a mounting bracket from Sunway Photo, the MAC14. And inside here is... Should I say it or should I just unbox it? Ah yeah, just unbox it. As you can see there is the DJI Ronin S. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is with the DJI Ronin S, the same thing with the DJI Ronin M, this plate. And don't get me wrong, this plate is awesome, it's great. But the thing is with this type of gimbals, you always have to unscrew this little plate, this, this plate here, the, as you can see. There's this little screw and you have to screw it onto your camera body. And I was thinking like, hmm, how can I speed up my workflow to use this gimbal, this tripod and shooting handheld using my Peak Design uh, camera strap or camera strap system, I don't know. How can I speed up these three things together? Yeah, so, but just let me unbox this. Uh, all right, guys, so, um, you know what? Just let me get this thing out of the way. And now let's get to the, to the small, small box and the small box is from Sunway Photo MAC14 Manfrotto Arca compatible clamp that's what it's called this came in in the mail some packaging some allen key and the interesting part is over here this mounting clamp this mounting clamp goes onto the DJI Ronin S on on this plate. So I will screw this thing, this thing up to here. And then comes the big packaging. Maybe I, sh maybe I should get an unboxing knife. Because, ow, no, no, this is, this is not a great idea. Get the old cutter knife. Always cut away from yourself like this and not like this. Well, <laughs> the box is freaking big and look what's inside. Only two packages. Well, so, by the way, this video is not sponsored by anyone. This is a Peak Design clip, the capture, capture clip only, and the Peak Design dual plate, which is Arca and RC2 compatible. RC2 is this plate, this is the Manfrotto RC2 standard. Hopefully these three things go together and they work. So yeah, this is the, the plate itself, the box. And this is the clip. This clip is meant to be clipped onto your camera bag or your belt, as you can see here. So I should be able to clip this thing onto my back or onto my belt and uh, I should be able to really fast take my camera off, shoot some things handheld and get it back into the mechanism, into the capture clip. Or I can quickly remove it from my from my bag and use it on the tripod or on the DJI Ronin S. So I have two, three things which should work together fine and very fast and very easy. So let's see how this goes. This is a capture clip and uh, I don't know how Oh, well, I have to say it looks pretty decent. This is the clip and this is the dual plate. And this is the magic behind these three things. Because this plate should be able to fit into here, into this clamp and into here and into the Manfrotto, uh, 
Wait a second, how is it called? Manfrotto, Manfrotto MHX Pro 2W. Okay. I absolutely hate these names. Please get some decent names which everyone can recognize. Like dual plate or like capture. It's way easier to remember. Well. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's. Feels premium. Feels very premium. Oh. <laughs> Another Allen key. I have like three of these. Uh, well. And what is this? Oh, a screw. Okay. Oh, another. What is. Oh, a sticker. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, these are the screws which are meant to be a permanent mounting onto your belt or onto your camera back. And the other ones, these two are meant to be for switching over to other bags and other belts and to remove it easy because there is only a thumb screw and these are some screws which you need the allen keys well now i have these these things and hopefully these three things fit into my to my system to my workflow hopefully so now let's throw this peak design capture clip onto my onto my belt maybe this is the the right way there we go so this is the the release mechanism Okay, one thing to mention is always make sure that this dual plate from Peak Design is always secure in your tripod because I almost dropped my camera before because the dual plate wasn't 100% straight or flush with the camera tripod because the plate is slightly different from the original one which comes with the tripod. So keep that in mind. Let me tell you a quick story. Think about you are up in the mountains, up in the Swiss Alps and they are absolutely gorgeous and it's a beautiful scenery. And you're about to shoot some epic content, video content with your camera. So you have two options. Option number one, you will use your gimbal. It can be a DJI Ronin or a Zion Crane or whatever. You use your gimbal, but you already know you have to rebalance your camera. And that can be a really hassle with cold temperatures like minus 10, minus 15 degrees or even colder this can be really frustrating especially if you're not used to balancing or adjusting the axes on the gimbal or you aim for option number two which is shooting slow motion with your camera like 120 frames per second or 50 or 60 frames per second whatever whatever slow motion you have and honestly i would go for option number two because option number two is far easier than rebalancing the gimbal even for five minutes i have only one plate with three different variations shooting handheld shooting tripod and shooting gimbal only one plate that's the biggest reason why i decided to get a quick release system to use real-time footage because 120 frames per second is a little bit overdone in this youtube filmmaking industry everyone does it and yeah i've seen it i, I just want something new i just want to use real-time footage more often than slow motion even though i like slow motion Slow motion is cool, I mean, I mean who, who doesn't like slow motion? So, let's continue. I will put the camera from the DJI Ronin S up to my Manfrotto tripod head onto this MHX Pro 2W and then I will put it into this from the tripod over here. Well, let's see how this goes. I will just loosen up this screw, this big thumb screw. Okay, slide it up. Now, here we go. Same plate. Bah! Ta-da! It works. So, and now I just want to walk around with my camera without a gimbal or a tripod or whatever. And yeah, go on a walk. Now what I'm gonna do is just slide it into here. So yeah, this is it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little kind of like a vlog. I mean, I honestly, it's a little bit weird to talk to the camera. Okay, right now I'm talking to you, but just because you're watching it on YouTube. But as of right now, in this exact moment of time, I'm talking to a camera. <laughs> and I know I have to treat the camera like a person, but that's honestly easier said than done. Yeah, if you have any any tips or feedback on how to make the vlog better, just leave it down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, every feedback, constructive feedback is appreciated. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you again. Peace. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> I forgot something. Uh, Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, have a great time with your family and enjoy the time, the free time. 
to slow down a little bit from the stress, uh, which is getting presents and whatever. <laughs> Just slow a little bit down, enjoy the time, and hopefully I will see you before next year. I'll try to make another vlog, and uh, if I don't see you, which I don't want to, and when I don't see you, Happy New Year to you and Crush 2019. I will try to make a vlog before 2019, so I will wish you again Happy New Year. Okay, let's let's end this vlog. Peace.